good. Good. I'm talking to some of the freshmen, and it seems like all of you guys are starting to get a little bit more and feel a little more comfortable and so forth. Would you agree with that? Uh, yeah. I, I believe, like, as the games progress, you know, practices, more practice, feel more comfortable, get more experience, you know, improve yourself. So. Able to take more of the defensive things from practice to a game? Uh, definitely. Uh, I feel like it's the best way to translate. You know, go hard in practice and stuff like that, and it's going to come to, you know, fruition. Uh, fruition. Is, that, is that how you're kind of judging yourself right now, is how you're doing on the defensive end? Oh, uh, definitely. Uh, I feel like that gets me going offensively. Um, I feel like that's a great way for our team to get going, and that's something that's in our control. So. Hey, since you missed you know, all the preseason and the offseason, when was made of the moment when you felt like, yeah, I'm you know, really starting to get it? Um, I feel like each day is a... You know, some I learn something new, and I try to work on something. So I feel like, as like I said, as practices, you know, get more practices in, it's, it's more, you know, I get yeah, a better feel for you know my defense and stuff like that, and I, I get more comfortable. So I would say throughout the year, it's just starting to get better. How's this week been? You know, a little lighter than you're playing three games in eight days. Oh, uh, it's helping. You no, know, we gotta take this and don't not take this for granted. You know, getting these many days off. Uh, well, you know what I'm saying, before the game, having this much time to prepare for a game. So it's kind of like, you know, rest a little bit and still find ways to prepare for the next game. So having that time, you feel like you're pretty locked in for the oh, basketball tomorrow? Oh, definitely, you know, What's maybe a point of emphasis, you know, to, to face them? Um, right now, it's just going through our same game plan, but right now we're just taking advantage of this extra time playing, you know, this extra time period, and uh, still find some time to kind of rest a little bit because we got a lot of games. For you personally, what's been the biggest adjustment between non-conference and Big Ten play? Um, right now, um, it's kind of hard to say. It's different. You know, each game is a different new environment, things like that. So I'm just kind of taking it, you know, game by game. And, uh, and it's starting to get. I'm starting to get a better feel for each game. So. Um, what about confidence level? Uh, it's helping out. Like I said, each game, I feel like my confidence builds. Uh, I'm pretty confident myself. Uh, but you know, having that experience is, you know, it helps me. It helps, uh, you know, saying how I play uh, going into the season. Oh, there you go, right there. DJ, Aaron, and you have all had moments of good and bad. Is it, does it help to go through it together? You guys kind of help each other That's, through it all. Uh, we learn from each other's mistakes. We learn, I learned from Mal, you know, Ken, for all our mistakes. DJ, not just the freshman, but more so, probably say more so the freshman because we made more of the mistakes and kind of learn from one another to limit, uh, you know, our individual mistakes. It's been a roller coaster a little bit for all three of you. You've had some some goods and some bads. Oh, definitely. I knew that was going to come this year, uh, especially not being able to play. You know what I'm saying? Uh, here, the way I went to the preseason and stuff like that. I knew I was going to make mistakes with my coaching staff. You know, I knew that too. So, uh, you know, what it is now is just kind of uh, limited my mistakes and learning from them. Talk about learning something new every day. What's, what's been the latest thing that you've been working with? Uh, just kind of, I don't know. Right now, I've been focusing on just my my emphasis has been on defense and uh, just closing out, uh, probably doing some defensive stuff right now. So this week, I've got more focusing on that. We never ask you about shooting because we assume that's always going to be there for you. <laughs> but in the back of your mind, do you think to yourself, I know I've got a six or seven three-point shot game in me coming up. Do you do you feel like? I mean, because watching you shoot, I always think that. He might go six or seven. <laughs> you, you ever think that? Uh, definitely. Uh, <laughs> but, you know what I'm saying? What makes me, you know, an artist, even, even harder to draw, I feel like I can create for my team. I can get to a rim. I can do other things. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, I also feel that. But uh, just right now, I'm kind of been focusing on, you know, different aspects of my game and helping my team. What does that pass to Kendrick rank in your all-time personal plays? Oh, man. I, I feel like I felt just as happy about that play as I did for that game winner. Just being able to... Uh, you know, make play. I, I feel like right now I haven't been turning the ball over and stuff like that. So I'm starting to see how that helps my team jump stop. And, you know, now I'm able to create and have more freedom with the ball in my hands. Yeah, when he finishes it, like he oh, does man, that, make still, it yeah. Like, what? That momentum. <laughs> you know, that, the, the crowd. You know, that's something that that that, that boosts that boosts the momentum for our team, for the fans. It's just it's nothing like it. Yeah, I'm kind of looking at my head just a little bit.
going to Indiana next week. Yeah. I mean, one of the few Indiana guys right. that played in Illinois. Right. Hey, did you grow up watching the Hoosiers or? Not really. Uh, I mean, I did. Uh, it was big when I was there. Uh, you know, but I'm not. How hard did they recruit you? Uh, pretty hard. Since yeah. Adrian, that was my first offer. First offer in eighth grade. Eighth grade. Really? Yeah. It looks right, like man. you're going to have to go. Yeah, exactly. Thanks, All right. yeah, thank you.